how demon fall betrayed its community one of the most popular roblox demon slayer games ever made hasn't updated in almost a higher year and still has around 4,000 people playing it today we'll be discussing how demon fall betrayed its loyal community without further ado don't forget to like subscribe now let's get straight into the discussion now demon fall released back on july 10th 2021 and immediately rolls to the top as one of the best demon slayer roblox games it was unique since it featured a storyline that allows you to pick from the star whether if you wanted to be a demon or slayer in a battle the storyline for slayer was quite interesting and made demon fall feel quite differently even though it was fundamentally the same as every other demon slayer game on the platform but demon fall felt a little bit more realistic and you genuinely did feel like a demon slayer the major issue with demon fall at first was the fact that the map was huge and empty like most demon slayer games back then and even now most of the game was in the storyline but other than that there just wasn't much to do within the game and the demon side of the game was severely lacking in content and felt like the slayers all always had an advantage another issue was the fact that the end game essentially was again you rotating bosses repeatedly in the game for less than worth the drops unfortunately many turned to the pvp and even that had its problems matches would end in less than 30 seconds and the breathings would just be utterly broken on release but let's go back to the beginning demon fall had a very special way you could obtain your breathing as well as the trainings were actually very relevant to the breathing you chose final selection was quite lackluster but it was still fun to go in and destroy demons with your friends the game at first released with no mobile support and was pc only game until patch 1.3 would add it of course this would skyrocket the player count of demon fall and the game would become the definitive best demon slayer game on the platform mobile released with tons of problems that would later be resolved of course with more patches to the game for the first few months of demon falls release the developers were hard at work always balancing and being transparent with the community when something went wrong with the game this was very rare to see at the time since most developers disappear after only a few updates we now know this would be the same outcome for demon fall as well patch 1.4 would add insect breathing and not gonna lie the poison in the combos would absolutely break the game for a while and i'm not even sure this even got nerfed all the way even now this would obviously start a cycle with the game where a new breathing or bda would come out and absolutely break the meta of the game and the developers would of course purposely do this so that people would use the new stuff in the game and would grind more of the game to obtain this new stuff honestly it was smart but it would be the downfall of the game eventually and only a few weeks after the game's release the game would receive another massive update that would add more things to help the demon side of the game they would add both ice and arrow bda to the game and add tons more needed buffs for the demon side of things since that was a major complaint at first patch 2.0 would come just a few weeks later and would add sun and moon which of course upset tons of people not because of the fact that it was sun and moon but because of the fact that it would change the better forever and would make other breathings in the game non-viable since sun and moon were just so broken they also added a prestige system for in-game players that added buffs and exp boosts for you which encouraged players to grind out the story to the end this patch also added hybrid which of course was also absolutely broken also the game would add world event bosses and more in-game content patch 2.0 caused many problems with the game and will cause the developers to have to heavily nerf basically everything they added in order to maintain players and keep a healthy meta patch 2.5 would come out in september of 2021 this will finalize the demon story and add infinity castle which was one of if not the first demon slayer game to do this patch 2.6 would add beast breathing and didn't change the fact that the other breathings were still broken to an extreme the developers did try to further balance the game but honestly demon fall just suffered from the devs adding things to the game and not testing it first which would lead to breathings having broken moves and sometimes even infinite combos which of course would affect ranked which was the only thing keeping the game alive and still is to this day with the inclusion of hybrids in the game base slayers and demons essentially were quite weak compared to it between the patch 2.9 and the eventual patch 3.0 we would see a significant increase in time to update from being just a few weeks to a couple of months which was fine at the time since the developers were probably tired of updating the game so consistently but the community would eventually be completely ghosted in the most unexpected way as we will find out later on patch 3.0 would however add xbox support and love breathing to the game which increased the player count again and with this being the first major patch of 2022 we would see them tweak it just a bit in order to balance things there was of course still broken things in the game and at this point it was common for bugs and glitches to be found in the game that are still in the game to this day i really hope that the loading glitch was fixed by now though because <laughs> that glitch was annoying 
way. Patch 3.2 would add Tamari combat for demons, and this was a pretty unique way to play the game. It added more versatility to the demons, but of course, it was buggy for a while until they kind of fixed it with more patches. And then patch 3.5 would release. This added Doki's BDA, boss raids, new insect in string moves, and buffed some EXP on quests. And just a few weeks later, we received to this day the final update for Demon Fall on July 10th. 2022 which added stone breathing which by god was so broken and still is since they never even decided to balance it after it came out we also got swamp and hitingu for demons as well as titles for rank unfortunately though this would be the last update for the game if i'm being honest here the game was not left in the best state and deserved to be updated at least one or two more times to balance the demons and slayers since this was apparent throughout that slayers would get way more love than demons and it wasn't balanced at all even the storyline for demons was kind of mad compared to the slayers unfortunately though a rocks the lead developer would go completely silent for months and people even speculated if the guy was dead but to be honest here he did work really hard on the game or at least try to the game still has the most content i've ever seen on any demon slayer game on the platform which is the main reason why the game is so popular now even without the updates still does not excuse the amount of bugs and glitches and just pure brokenness the game was left with for months and now almost a year project slayers would then come out later that july after the fourth big update and this would further kill the player count of demon fall as many people transitioned over to the brightly colored counterpart since project slayers had this flashy level of graphics and effects this made people believe that it was the better game but in my eyes i genuinely still think demon fall is the better demon slayer game project slayers really doesn't even feel like a demon slayer game in my opinion like i said in my project slayers video it honestly feels like gpo but with demon slayer paint covered on it. the game had major support from youtubers and content creators and the videos done on demon fall only served to improve the game's player count even more as we would see gameplay videos and guys reaching over a million views so that just goes to show you how big this game was back then it was hyped up and honestly it carried the hype for a while until most of the community became fed up with the lack of proper updates and content being added to the game i mean still other than the storyline demon fall is quite empty and has a huge map with still almost nothing to it with a rocks being gone for such an extended period of time many people turn to youtube to voice their opinion on if the game was dying or not honestly the game is not what i would consider dead by any stretch since it averages over 3,000 players on most days the game could honestly still have competed with project slayers if they would have updated during the time project slayers was on hiatus but they didn't take advantage of the opportunity and now i don't think the future looks too bright for them to surpass project slayers since most people have given up on demon fall completely there's even creators who still make content on the game consistently like fallen brad who is known to do pvp style videos on the game a true loyal community member for sure the future of demon fall the question now is will demon fall ever update well good news is maybe about a month or so ago a rocks went to his discord and stated that he will eventually update the game and plans for the update to be massive it said in due time it will be revealed as most likely update 5. He even acknowledged that the game had an insanely great community since they stuck around through the hardships of the game, which trust me, there were a lot during this game's life cycle. He did state that he did not stop the game, but I call cap on this, because Alpharex, one of the developers for the game, stated that Aerox simply refused to update the game even though he and his team made several updates for the game during its hiatus. For some reason, Aerox just refused to update the game, which makes zero sense to me. I'm assuming he didn't feel like fixing the game and continuing to work on it, which is probably one of the main reasons for the massive break the game took unfortunately this is the fate for a lot of games and if it wasn't for the community continuously playing and begging for him to come back demon fall probably would have been forgotten about and would have been thrown into the abyss of dead games but again it has only been an entire month and according to alpha rex all it took was a simple publish of the updates that they have been working on so the game's fate lies in the hands of aerox at this point and if he wants to see the game compete with project slayers it is up to him to decide who knows what is truly on aerox's mind but i still believe leaving your community for almost an entire year with nothing is truly unacceptable because there's people that pay out of their pockets to support you and your game and to simply up and leave is honestly upsetting to me and i don't even play demon fall to all the people who do i hope you guys receive something that is worth the time the game is spent and active hopefully aerox can learn from this as well and not go on an almost year break from his game and leave his beloved community but as i say in every video if you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this one please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next video Peace.